been robbed. This is what could have happened at the Game Awards. Let's dive into some Smash Brothers. Block content. I love hot hot this video is for good boys and girls. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blot Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And we are talking, we are talking about something that slightly infuriates me and also fills me with some anxiety. It is weird. It's weird that we're sitting here, that this happened. It's the Game Awards. And yes, the Game Awards have happened. And as you guys probably know that are listening to this, I'll just set the record straight. Really, nothing of note actually happened happened at the show, right? We had so many crazy ideas and even our smallest ideas did not come to pass. No big reveals for Nintendo at all, nothing about Smash next to something huge that I'll talk about, but it makes us think what could have happened there, what could have been the reveal. Well, there's four ideas right here that I want to talk about with you guys. And of course, here's something super cool. A lot of you guys asked for a show like this and here it is. It's called Question Blocked, where I answer your questions about upcoming Smash fighters, my thoughts on your favorite game of all time, questions about how to start a channel on YouTube, anything you can think of, send your question through right now to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in one of our new episodes. And for those of you guys who like giveaways, well, we're giving away a Piranha Plant plushie a little sooner than thought. And remember to like this video, subscribe to Block Content for this beautiful What's Happening My Block Buddies t-shirt, which we are also giving away a little earlier than the deadline. So it's final hour right now. Enter for the giveaway right now. All right, guys, let's head right on into this. We are talking about what could have happened at the Game Awards and some stuff that we've heard through the grapevine. Now, of course, it needs mention here that we've actually heard so many leaks the the like the past couple of weeks, even not even the past couple of days that talked about characters in Smash Brothers Ultimate, that characters that were deconfirmed to be shown as the fifth character. So a lot of characters people are saying are not going to be the fighter and then things were switched around again. So it's been this crazy whirlwind of things that might happen, things that maybe will happen, and things that definitely won't happen in the Smash sphere. And it's been driving everybody a little bit crazy. But yes, to recap what happened a little bit, that Game Awards, and a lot of you guys were there, like 10,000 people watched that live stream with me, which is incredible. Like, I thank you guys so much for being a Block Content fan and watching with us together and live chatting and everything, and the donations, you guys are incredible and we had so much fun talking and speculating, but every single reveal that happened during the Game Awards was kind of like, okay, but now we're going to see some Smash. Okay, but now we're going to see a little bit of Breath of the Wild 2. Okay, but they might announce a big first party title now, and what ended up happening is not too much. The big Nintendo reveals were actually just the sequel to Bravely Default, which is Bravely Default 2 for the Nintendo Switch, which is a great exclusive and actually looked pretty neat. And the other Another one was another DLC pack coming to Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, which is of course not that big of a deal for a lot of people, and that was pretty much it. There was some news about uh, yeah, the Travis Strikes Again stuff, Touchdown, I mean, that was not all that interesting. The trailer was a little bit subversive and didn't show all too much. It was a little bit winky, and to me, everything surrounding that wasn't that exciting too. For fans of PlayStation, for fans of Xbox, Microsoft, there really wasn't too much to chew on. There were you know, some great teases here and there, but no big, huge game announcements that, you know, made the internet explode. Nothing was trending, and pretty much everything revolved around either, you know, rewards were very rushed, and everything revolved around these celebrity appearances, music, which I actually thought was great. I thought the orchestra was amazing. I thought that they did a great job blending all the themes of the, you know, games that were up for Game of the Year together. They did that so well, and also, I thought Green Day was great. Churches was great, so they had a really good show in terms of flair, but substance was severely missing in our opinion. Like, I watched it live, I watched my reaction back too, I even had my camera set up to record something for you guys, like some sort of impression, like, oh, this is what I thought of it in the moment, and there were no real notable moments to actually share from that, so we ended up not even doing something like that, which is crazy, right? If we just choose not to show any sort of reaction. So, yeah, in that end, it was really strange to see the new Xbox being announced, the Xbox C 
Series X, which is a strange name, just because if you say it out loud, it sounds a little bit weird right at the end there, but also the idea that it, you know, we had the Xbox One X too, we had the, the general Xbox, so what makes this feel special? Is it just the word Series? Like, does it make it feel like a car or something like that? And that's like some really, you know, expensive thing. I don't know, the box looked cool. I thought that the little bits they showed actually looked like lifelike and very interesting. And there was a tiny tease of a certain Spartan. And that's where I wanna take you guys for this next segment because a lot of things did not happen, but things that could have happened are the following. That little Spartan right there on the mountain was Master Chief. And I was really convinced for this event, especially seeing, you know, the audience there, very Western audience, but also people that like totally loved everything that Microsoft Xbox was putting out there. They even had Phil Spencer up there talking so much about the future of Xbox. And I thought this is the perfect time. They even had a tiny little Master Chief hint at the end right there. As far as I know, that's new footage. So probably from Halo Infinite. And I don't know if it's from anywhere else. I don't think so. And I thought it would be the perfect time to do something like, I need a weapon. Chief, you know that, like, a lot of your weapons are not allowed in Smash Brothers, right? Then I'll at least need to smash. Yes, I thought that it was going to happen. I thought that we were going to get some sort of Master Chief Halo reveal for Super Smash Brothers. It could have gone down a little bit like that leaked audio, right? But what would have been really cool is that after the Xbox announcement, the entire hall just went dark, completely dark. And the only thing that you got on screen was like a little blue graphic that displayed basically the voice, the waveform voice of Cortana and Cortana talking to the audience. You know, Chief, we're lost in space, something like that. You know, we're drifting and there's there's nothing to, to grab onto. We, we're just floating through dead air and then suddenly a hand grabs Master Chief's hand and it's Samus also in space rescuing Master Chief which I think would be amazing something that didn't really revolve around them fighting but just basically this thing where yes you're getting rescued and I'm going to take you to the biggest crossover event in gaming and that's when you show the great awesome trailer where Master Chief is basically in-game doing all of his moves with crazy needlers and all those kinds of weapons. I think that that would have been a crazy cool reveal. And on the other hand of the spectrum, there was also some great stuff for PlayStation Sony, like a lot of like exclusives and reveals. So I really thought that this could have been a crazy time, especially since last year they showed off some great Crash stuff, and this year, best racing game was won by a Crash game, which is crazy if you think about it. I thought Crash would be revealed. You know, that was also one of the things that me and the Speculation Squad, so it's Papa Gino's, and of course Lax Chris, Marlon Gaming, we thought about that. We were like, yeah, Crash is really likely. So we thought something like last year could have happened, like a box, and the box burst open, and there would be Crash, but he would be a little bit different, right? He would be uh, a little bit more battle-ready, and then he would maybe taunt Mario a bit like he did in the past, but this time, Mario could strike back, and we cut to gameplay footage of Crash finally in Smash using, you know, the Wumpa Blaster and everything in his arsenal, the jetpack, the kicks, the slides, the spins, everything that Crash has in his arsenal. I think that could have been a great time too, so another huge missed opportunity. And for a lot of people there, I think it was also an audience that there was a lot of like gore, there were a lot of games that were a little bit for adult audiences. And for the time that I watched the video, I mean, in my location, it was like past midnight. It was almost day again. You guys that were in the stream knew I was getting kind of tired and I was getting kind of bored, but we still held up. Well, I think for that kind of an audience, it would have been really great to see some sort of sword land into the ground on the screen and have have some sort of tease with lightning in the background and then have someone some ninja finally pick up that sword and embrace every f single fighter in the smash history i think ryu hayabusa could have been a really great reveal in the game awards as well and i'm just throwing these ideas out there for you jeff so maybe you can pick up on them later and my final idea my final reveal idea would have been very simple and it's something that a lot of people have thought about but of course after some sort of game or after even Jeff going on stage and saying, well guys, this is it. And this is what I actually thought that would have happened during the Game Awards, right? So imagine this, you know, Game of the Year was just announced, Sekiro won like it actually did. And Jeff was like, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I guess this is the end. 
objection and there he is phoenix right objecting to the show ending and saying here i am but now i'm gonna do a little more than investigating and talking i'm going to smash so here we go right phoenix right in super smash brothers the reveal on the screen with a little bit of gameplay footage with all the crazy weird moves that he can throw out there that don't at all resemble the move set that he had in Marvel vs. Capcom. Totally new, totally Sakurai, right? Totally true to the character, but very fitting for Smash Brothers. I think it's also another missed opportunity. So yeah, my top four for that is of course Crash, Master Chief, Phoenix Wright, Ryu Hayabusa, not in any particular order. I think that definitely they missed a chance to include anything from Smash, and it's super weird, right? Because, he, like last year, we got the reveal for Joker, and we all assumed something like it would happen. And the weirdest thing to me is there was no other big Nintendo reveal, right? Super Smash Bros. Ultimate won Best Fighting Game, which is great. You know, it legitimizes our game as basically a real fighting game, which has been struggling for for a very long time. And of course, it isn't any real decree, but still feels pretty darn good. But now the idea to have Smash Bros. up there and no new information announced right when we are ripe for information about the fifth Fighter's Pass. We know there are other characters past Fighter 5 coming, so what would have been the big trouble to actually add a character to the Game Awards that was gonna an be announced for pretty soon, right? I mean, anything would have been good, even a tease where we couldn't even see the character. Maybe even some sort of gameplay video that ended in a shadowy figure or a reveal or a sound effect even. So only using like stuff that they already have. I mean, it was a huge missed opportunity, not to mention there was no real other presence from Nintendo. People were talking about Breath of the Wild 2. People were talking about maybe an Odyssey sequel, something about Metroid, not even Metroid Prime 4, people were even saying, just the ports, just show us the ports, the Metroid Prime trilogy, anything. So nothing of note actually happened, but we did have the greatest time during the stream, so I am super thankful for the time that we spent, but also, I feel a little bit cheated for watching an ad that basically took me four hours of my life to get through. It was pretty rough in some parts, and it was pretty great in others. I mean, the idea that Hideo Kojima won, like, best directing was super great. I thought it was very deserved for that musician to also have won for Death Stranding as well. I think it's super awesome that Smash Brothers won an award, and even Luigi's Mansion winning an award, that I think was really great as a family-friendly game, I believe. Crash, I never would have thought Crash would win any award anytime soon, and he's just finally back out of obscurity, and he's already winning big awards, so there were a lot of highlights. Reggie being in there was definitely something that brought a tear to my eye. That man is a legend, and yes, yeah, some of the cameos from, you know, famous people I actually liked. I thought Jonathan Nolan was a really good choice to be in there. The Fast and Furious thing was a little bit tone-deaf to me, but, you know, a couple of other parts I think were really special and to me the Muppet thing was also really fun and amazing to see how well they pulled off you know the untitled goose game thing I think it was really fun to have a collaboration there right it was really well done and also the Apex Legends thing so there were plenty of good things there was just no substance and for the next game awards I think we might still be streaming it but we'll stream it and be a little bit more laid back about it, right? Because this year pretty much showed us that, yeah, you can't really count on the year before for things to be the same. So maybe that works the other way around too, where next year will be super special, but let's not hedge our bets. So I would love to hear if you guys have any Game Awards stories. Did you stay up very late? Did you get up very early for it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your stories and read them live on the show. And of course, today's comment question is, what did you think of the Game Awards? So let me know down below. As for our previous comment question, our answer comes to us from our very longtime user, Wahid Abdullah, saying, after the Game Awards and me, that's it? That's the Game Awards? There wasn't any big news from Nintendo. Friend, what a rip. Me, <laughs> Grr, Nintendo betrayed us! Well, Wahid, thank you for that very animated comment. And I totally agree. This was kind of what I was feeling like. There wasn't any big news from Nintendo. That's pretty strange, right? They are such a huge part of it. We had Doug Bowser in there kind of talking about Smash Brothers in a very, very company man style, which I didn't really like at all. I thought that they could have brought either Masahiro Sakurai on stage, but of course it's difficult to get him. So maybe even Bill Trinan, you know, or someone else from the treehouse that could have gone, you know, gotten a little bit more of an 
you know, enthusiastic response out of there instead of a very business savvy response. I thought that was a little bit, as I said before, it was a little bit stale and it was a little bit empty. And so I think that you're totally right to be a little bit angry. You're totally right to be disappointed. A lot of people in the chat, a lot of my fans in the chat were super sad about it. So I definitely feel the exact same way. But of course, we're looking forward to the future. And I do absolutely think that we're going to get that fighter before the year ends. And I've got a lot to say about it too. So thank you guys so much for sending in your comments. These are always so much fun to read through. And of course, a huge thank you to our latest Patreon supporters and everyone who donated Super Chats to our latest live stream. I mean, that was so incredibly humbling. So thank you so much. If you want to be created in pixel art or little block content guy, join me for a live Skype chat or even have your own video ideas animated by me, go to patreon.com slash blocked content because there's a bunch of incredible rewards there in the waiting for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, don't worry. We can all be disappointed at live streams together. Click the subscribe button right now. Subscribe. Don't forget it. And ring the bell next to it for notifications. All the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. So thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.